Hi, I'm Marina. I'm Philip Linander. My name is Amelie. I'm from Valencia, Spain. I'm from Stockholm, Sweden. I'm food ambassador for Germany in the European project School Food for Change. I'm one out of 12 food ambassadors at the School Food for Change project. I work at the World Sustainable Urban Food Center of Valencia and I'm the School Food for Change ambassador for Spain. My fondest memories of eating in school would be around the age of 11 or 12 when everybody would show up and eat together and I thought it was so cozy. During my school time there was no lunches at school so I went home to eat every day. My best memory is when the cooks prepare paella because we all enjoy it. Schools now have the chance to give students a space to enjoy meals and uh, nudge them to eat healthy and sustainable choices over and over again to create sustainable food habits. In a digitalized world, school meals becomes the perfect situation to rediscover our bodies and reconnect with our bodily emotional spheres. School meals have the potential to be a great tool to teach young people the importance of a healthy diet and to promote a sustainable food culture. To improve nutrition in schools, I would love to see next to processed meat alternatives, the creative use of more beans as a natural source for proteins and fibers. We need to increase the plant-based products and ensure that the products are healthy, local and seasonal, but without forgetting that taste is also important. They can also let kids vote for the food that they want to see on the table. They must play an active role. Their suggestions and proposals must be taken into account. Food procurement has the chance to instill a much needed curiosity in local food production. Schools can use their teaching mission to involve students in the process of getting food to the table to create awareness and appreciation for the efforts behind it. If you have the luxury of having canteen workers at your school, remember to thank them every day with a smile. Adios!